What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new AEW action figure news or leaks or whatever you would like to call it, man. This is some pretty interesting stuff developing right here. I've been tagged in this quite a few times over the last few days, but I wanted to make sure my TNT ringside exclusive Cody figure review went up yesterday, so I didn't want to get to that. So today, we're going to finally get into this news. Now, if you guys missed the TNT Cody review, definitely go check it out, as well as our AEW figure ranking from the other day. It took a long time time to edit that video so I'd really appreciate if you guys would go check that out and let me know your thoughts but diving into today's news man I don't even know where this originated from I saw it everywhere I saw it tagged in all, all kinds of places but let's just go ahead and dive straight into this stuff man let's start off right now and just pull it up looking on your screen man what it looks like we are getting man is an AEW Unrivaled Collection 4 pack now I think this is quite interesting man I don't know exactly the origins of this I don't know all of the legit Legitimacy. Now, I'm going to be real. It looks legitimate from what I'm seeing, like everything I'm seeing right here. We don't have like perfect clear imagery. It, it, is it me or is like anytime we get something leaked out, it's never like a clear image. It's always like somebody was using like a damn iPod Nano from 2008 and they were just snapping a photo with it. And I don't even think they could take photos. That's the whole point, man. They the, the, the images we get are never just beautiful and clear. I don't know what the deal is, but here we go, guys. As you guys can see on your screen, it is pretty much, it looks kind of like a, ta a Target Hall of Fame 4-pack that we've seen in the past with Mattel, right? You know, the we had the Andre the Giant and the Mr. Perfect and the Bobby the Brain Heenan and all these great things. And that is what it looks like right here. It looks like a standard WWE Elite 4-pack that we've seen in the past, but it is AEW. It's Unrivaled Collection. You guys can see the Unrivaled rival logo on there you got the you know the plastic casing and everything like that and i don't think this is custom again i think this is legit much like that weapons pack we saw but if you'll look at the images of the figures that we got or the image with the figures in the image if you'll zoom in there guys you will notice that the uh the figures here are kenny omega chris jericho john moxley and mjf now i think what is is that it looks like all four of these are going to be re-releases or or some type of you know they're, they're pretty much re-releases i mean they're carbon copies of what we've seen before. Let's start off with Kenny Omega. If you zoom in, guys, you will notice this is the Series 4 Unrivaled Collection Kenny Omega. It looks identical to it. You got the vest, you got the head sculpt, you got the same attire, you got interchangeable hands. I mean, I don't know what's different from this and the Unrivaled Series 4 figure. Now, I'm not sure exactly what their idea is for this pack. I don't know what it's going to retail for. I don't know where they're going to sell it. I don't know any of those things. We still don't know a lot about this pack, but it does look to be legitimate, just like we saw with that weapons pack, which I hope we get more details on coming soon. But this Kenny Omega is an exact replica of Series number 4. If we move on to the Chris Jericho, this looks to be the Series 6 figure that we're going to be getting, right? It looks just like it. We talked about this the other day where we went through the leaked images of Series number 6, you know, with the Lucha Brothers and Jericho and, and Hagar and MJF. And we took a look at that. Chris Jericho here looks to be the same figure, head sculpt, tights with the black and yellow, AEW championship on there, all the tattoos, no headgear or anything like that, no vest like Kenny Omega gets, but it looks like this four pack, each figure itself comes with at least one accessory, so I think that's also pretty interesting to note. But Chris Jericho looks to be his Series 6 figure. If we move on over to John Moxley, you guys will notice that this is his Series 5 figure. So it looks like, to me, from my angle, what I'm looking at, it looks like we have one figure from Series number 4, one figure from Series number 5, and then two figures from Series number 6. Now, this John Moxley is clearly the Series 5 John Moxley with the yellow camo Mox vest on there. He does, I guess, he comes with two accessories if you count his vest and the barbed wire bat that is also in the packaging right there. I don't know, again what their idea is with this. I don't know if this is supposed to be like Stars of the Future or like, you know, just an AEW pack where we can put like four main event level guys inside of a pack and we can sell it. Now, I don't know what this thing would even go for. I mean, I don't know what they're even going to call this. I don't know anything else, man. This is literally this and the back of the packaging, which we also will take a look at, is all that we have. But John Moxley looks pretty good right there. Same exact figure from series number five. Like I said, I would have loved to seen the Chase variant plugged in here, but you know, it is what it is. And then the last figure in this little four-pack set is going to be the Series 6 MJF with the black and gold gear. He's got the scarf pattern wrist tape, knee pads, AEW microphone. I mean, my God, this guy gets a mic every time. Every time his figure releases, he gets a mic. But MJF is looking, uh, you know, just the same as his Series 6 figure, which is just really, really weird. I think this four-pack is super weird. I don't know exactly what, uh, you know, how to put my finger on it. I don't know exactly what I'm feeling entirely about this pack. 
We still have a lot of details that we need to get through and everything like that, but this is certainly an interesting development because I have no idea where this came from. I don't know, you know, what they're thinking is. I, I mean, dude, like, every AEW and Rival figure is, what, $20? So is this going to retail for $85 or $80 or $60? Are they going to, like, value pack it and give it to us for $50? I think that'd be dope don't see it happening. I'm just trying to be optimistic and, and, and think kind of, you know, outside the box here. I don't know exactly what they're planning here, but it is an interesting take nonetheless. What do you guys think about it? I mean, like Series 4 Omega, Series 6 Jericho, Series 5 Moxley, and Series 6 MJF. I don't know where you'd even plug this in. Is this going to be like over... I don't know if this is overseas exclusive. I don't know if it's ringside exclusive. I don't know who would even order this. Would you guys order it? I think I'd definitely order it to keep it mock. I'd like a mock set of this. But who wants all four superstars wrapped up in one like this? I don't know with the release. Are they trying to make it where these figures are more obtainable? I don't know. I could see, like, some guy walking in and just purchasing three of these four packs. I could see that happening. So I don't think that really eliminates that problem. I don't know, man. I really don't know what to think of it. But on the back, you will see that it has an image of all four talents. So this is... If this is, again, just like the weapons pack, if this is a fake, it's a really damn good fake. And they would also have to have the Series 5 Moxley, the Series 6 Jericho, and the Series 6 MJF all in hand, because these look pretty official to me. They don't look like customs or anything, which again would be outstanding. If they, if this is faked, it's like a, a well, a very well done fake, and it's like, well, you just did so good that congrats to you. I don't even like doubt you for it. I don't even knock you for it because it is so damn good. Like, it's a really good fake. But nonetheless, I don't know why you would release this officially. You know, it's just one of those things where it's very odd. We don't know all the details just yet, so we'll have to just wait and see what comes of it and everything like that. But nonetheless, an AEW 4-pack, Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho, John Moxley, and MJF. Now, you guys can let me know down in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this? Do you guys like it? You know, is it is it something you would purchase, I guess, if the price was right? I honestly don't know. I, I, I really don't know how to feel about it. Now, if it was all four of them with, like, different attacks, Tire. That'd be something that I could probably consider, you know, that I think would do really well, you know, a Kenny in a different gear. Like, if all four of them had different gear, I think for sure it would sell, but it being re-releases of Series 5, 6, and 4, I don't know. We'll have to play that by ear, but this AEW set is very interesting nonetheless, and I'd love to know what you guys think about all of it down below. If this released tomorrow for, let's just say, $89.99 or $79.99 or, you know, what's your bottom dollar? What is something, is this something that you guys would grab? Considering you already, let's just say you didn't have any of them, and then also answer it if, let's just say you had all of them. What would you guys buy this four pack? I would love to know down in the comment section below, but I had to put it up and talk to you guys about it because I thought it was a very crazy take. And, you know, something that, uh, you know, I wanted to talk about. But maybe it'll make it where these figures are easier to obtain. I don't know. I know Series 3 has been everywhere. I think everybody's had an opportunity to get Series 3. Hopefully that's the case with the rest of the waves. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I would love to know what you guys think down below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And don't cross the line like this four-pack. You cross the line.